What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. Now this is a video I've been wanting to make for quite some time now and that is obviously my complete Funko Pop collection. Now over the past couple years I have been collecting Funko Pops and I have grown quite a bit of a collection. I have my entire collection to the left of me. I have just over a hundred pops and yeah most of them are Marvel. So if you are a fan of Marvel this is definitely the video for you because honestly like 80% of these pops are all Marvel but besides Marvel I have some pop movies I have some DC and just a couple other things but mainly Marvel so anyways guys this video is gonna be long enough so let's just get into it first up we have Iron Man Tony Stark now I have a lot of Iron Man pops but honestly this is probably my favorite one this is the New York Comic Con Iron Man exclusive it is pretty cool he has the gauntlet in his hand so yep next up we have ghost from ant-man and the wasp and only at walmart exclusive she is um in her like uh, translucent state and it's a great character probably one of the better characters um in the ant-man films and cool pop next up we have a dc comics pop and that would be doula dent a hot topic exclusive not much to that. I got this on clearance at Hot Topic for like a couple dollars, so I had to pick it up. The next Funko Pop we got here is my most expensive Funko Pop in this whole collection and my favorite one. That would be Vision from Age of Ultron. Now, this is expensive because, as you can see, it is hand signed by Paul Bettany to me. Yes, I met Paul Bettany and he signed this for me, so that is very, very cool and a great pop and actually my only pop of him probably one of my least favorite marvel pops and that would be captain marvel now i do love captain marvel i just don't love this style but either way definitely a cool pop to have to the collection next up we have star lord a previews exclusive limited to twenty thousand, and then we have iron spider from avengers endgame a box launch exclusive both really cool pops one is obviously from the movies and one is from the comics, and I'm very sorry about the glare, but yes, there we go. And now we have Spider-Gwen from Into the Spider-Verse, just the basic common pop. And then we have Dustin in the hockey gear from Stranger Things at Hot Topic. I do love Stranger Things, however, this is my only pop from Stranger Things, and I love Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, so I had to pick up Spider-Gwen. Next up, we have two Marvel pops, both exclusive to the Marvel Collector's Corpse box, and that would be Loki and Thor, their first appearance in the comic books. I am subscribed to the Marvel Collector's Corpse, so I have a lot of pops from that box. But yeah, these are two very cool pops and great characters from the comics. Now I have Crossbones from Captain America, Civil War, and only at Target exclusive. And then we have Iron Man, a box launch exclusive. Nothing special about this pop, it's just Iron Man. I have a ton of Iron Man pops, but this Crossbones is a super cool pop and he is a pretty cool character in the mcu so happy to have both of these bad boys now we have a bigger pop here and that would be thanos with the throne this is probably easily probably one of my favorite pops in this whole collection it is pretty big and it's just very detailed and cool looking and i absolutely love this thing obviously it's a hot top exclusive and yeah guys this is just a super cool funko pop Easily one of the best. Now I have two pops from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and that would be Groot and Star Lord. Two great characters, obviously. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, it is easily one of my favorite films in the MCU, and I love Star Lord. I love Groot, and this is a adorable pop. And obviously, this is just Star Lord, so that is very cool. Next up is probably my oldest pop in this whole collection. That would be Black Widow from Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Yes, this is the oldest MCU pop that I have in my collection, and it's worth a decent bit, I think. I'm not sure how much it's worth, but nonetheless, it is a very cool pop. I love Black Widow, and I am looking forward to her film later this year. I have Kevin Smith from Fat Man on Batman. Um, I love Kevin Smith. He is one of my favorite directors and podcasters and comedian. Just everything Kevin Smith does. I love yeah. definitely an inspiration of mine. And next up we have Cuphead, the evil Cuphead, a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, I love Cuphead. It is a great game. And I got this at Hot Topic for like a couple dollars. So I had to pick that up. 
And this Kevin Smith is actually exclusive to Los Angeles Comic Con, so that is pretty cool. And now we have two Hulk pops, and the first one would be from Avengers Endgame. A very big pop. I think this is like a six inch, but it is a very cool Funko pop. He's holding the gauntlet in his hand. And just a great scene and great pop. And then the next one would be another Hulk Funko Pop. But that would be from the first Avengers movie. Um, yeah, it's Hulk. This is when they're all lining up in that like circle pose. And Hulk is doing his pose. And this is an Amazon exclusive. And just a really cool Funko Pop. This is actually my newest pop. This just came out a couple days ago. And I pre-ordered it. Um, off Amazon and it came just in time for me to do this video so that is pretty cool next up we have another Funko Pop from the same exact line as that Hulk and that would be Iron Man in the Avengers assembled pose again another Amazon exclusive I'm pretty sure they are coming out with all six characters um, all in their poses but for now they only have Iron Man and Hulk so I'm happy to have both those and I will buy the others when they come out. Now I have Valkyrie from Avengers Endgame. Probably one of my favorite characters in the MCU. I'm very excited for the future of the MCU and her future in it. Uh, just great character. I'm very excited for Thor 4. I hope she plays a bigger part in that movie. Because again, great character and great looking pop. And it is exclusive to the Marvel Collector's Corpse. Next up we have a DC Comics Hawk Girl from Hot Topic. And then we have Spider-Man Far From Home. That would be Spider-Monkey or Spider-Man with stealth goggles. And this is an only at Target exclusive. So very cool. This is my second favorite Spider-Man film right behind Spider-Man 2. But it's a great film. And this is a pretty cool pop as well. I mean, I got this on clearance at Hot Topic. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. But this is way cooler i mean come on it's night monkey and speaking of spider-man far from home we got mysterio a great 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 villain played by jake Hall. this is just a great character now this is what made spider-man far from home great this character right here he was such a good villain and had a great motive and just a great twist to him his pop is super cool i love the dome on his head just everything about this pop is super cool and it lights up if I can hit the button here Look at that his like triangle squares they light up So that is pretty cool and speaking of great villains in the MCU The best villain in the MCU of all time Eric Killmonger when I say best villain I mean he had the best motive out of all of the villains in the MCU now obviously Thanos is the better villain but Killmonger had the best motive. He was actually painted as kind of a good guy. I mean, his point in what he was saying was good. He actually had a solid point. He was just going about it in the wrong way. But I absolutely love Killmonger. He is easily one of my favorite characters. And this pop looks very, very cool. Now let's talk about a DC movie and that would be Shazam. Yes, this is kind of a weird character for me to have for this movie. He's kind of a side character, but Pedro, um, I can't really say too much about the character. I mean, it's a fine character, but it is hand signed by the uh, kid um, in the movie who played Pedro. And yeah, that is why I have this pop. I got this from the BAM box. It's a subscription box and they send you an autograph each month. And this month it was... Pedro so that is pretty cool to have it I guess I mean it's autographed and I did love the movie I mean it's a great movie so it's cool to have something uh, from the movie and then we got Tracer from Overwatch one of my favorite games of all time I love Tracer she's my main in Overwatch and just a cool looking pop so it's cool to have something different besides Marvel in your collection every so often because obviously I have a lot of Marvel. Next up we have Iron Spider from Endgame. And this actually isn't a Funko Pop. But that would be Dark Phoenix. Um, I do own this because it came in the box. But yeah guys we have Iron Spider from Endgame. This is a really cool pop. He has the gauntlet in his hand. Great scene. And he has his eyes red because he's in the kill mode. So that's pretty cool. Aquaman. Arthur Curry in his gladiator suit. Let's get through these. Here we go, two of my favorite pops in this whole collection, Korg with Meek and Gamer Korg. 
Oh boy, I love Korg. Taiko Waititi, mastermind. Hilarious. Korg is hands down a great character. He's so hilarious. Come on. I love these pops. These are easily two of my favorite pops. I cannot wait till they make more Korg pops. This one is from Thor Ragnarok. And this one is obviously from Endgame when he's playing Fortnite when Hulk comes to see Thor. Very funny scene. Love that. And obviously the other one, like I just said, is from Thor Ragnarok. Uh, he's holding his buddy Meek. So that is really cool. And we have another Thor Ragnarok pop and that'd be Surker. He's barely in the movie. I just love this movie. And that is a detailed pop. Very cool looking. We have Joker, Death of the Family, a Hot Topic exclusive. Very detailed, very cool. Then we have Tony Stark, nothing too much. He's just in the quantum suits and it's just his basic pop, not exclusive. Now we have two very different pops, and that would be Norman Bates from Psycho and Guillermo del Toro from the pop director's line. He is one of my favorite directors of all time. Um, I love pretty much all of his films, so it's cool to have a pop of him, and I got this on clearance, so can't beat that. And Psycho is just one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Classic, Alfred Hitchcock. Just a great horror movie, so I'm happy to have both of those. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Squirtle. Pikachu, got two Pokemon. I actually have all four of the starters. Uh, the other two are somewhere in here. Uh, but yeah, Squirtle, Pikachu. Now this isn't only at Target exclusive. I love Pokemon. They're adorable. Had to pick them up and add them to the collection. And now I got Stan Lee, a freaking inspiration to me. One of the greatest men to ever live on this planet. The dude who created Marvel. Without him, I wouldn't have any of the pops I have. This dude is a hero of mine, straight up a legend. Very excited to have a pop of him. And then we got Captain America with the half broken shield and the hammer. This pop is freaking amazing. Very detailed, very cool, and very powerful scene in Endgame. One of the greatest scenes like ever. This would be my Walgreens exclusive Iron Man. This is my favorite Iron Man pop, hands down. It is amazing, come on. Look at that. Look at that. This thing is straight up amazing. This actually uh, does light up as well, but it is in a protector case because I love it so much. Uh, so I can't hit the button. But yeah, I love the box color too. It's blue, black, gold. God, I love that from Avengers Infinity War. Two excellent pops, Wolverine and Angel. I mean... Pretty cool looking pops. We got Wonder Woman here and Superman from Flashpoint. Two DC comic pops. Look at them. Both Hot Topic exclusives. Very nice. Very nice. This dude, um, Eatery? Is that how you pronounce his name? I forget how they pronounce his name in the movie. It's a cool looking pop. I got it off Amazon. He's barely in the movie. He's part of the MCU, so I have to own it, I guess. Black Panther, come on, gotta love Black Panther. Actually, this is my only chase in this entire collection. Crazy, right? Uh, definitely a cool chase to have, if I say so myself. Next up, we have, uh, upside down, Captain America, Marvel Collector's Corpse exclusive. This is actually a very expensive pop. I know at one point, this was worth like, I'm pretty sure like over $100. I don't know if it is anymore, but he's holding the hammer, so that's really cool. And it is expensive, I guess, so that's always cool. Let me grab something. Ooh, Pennywise from It Chapter 2. Holding a skateboard, very scary. Now, I didn't love It Chapter 2. I didn't think it was the best movie, but I love the character of Pennywise, and I love the first It movie. This is my only War Machine pop I have, so it's cool to have something of him. And yeah, good character. He's been in the MCU since the very beginning, so definitely have to own something of him. Now I have a three-pack. We have Spider-Man. Hawkeye and Captain America and Iron Man as keychains. This is definitely a weirder pack that they package. I don't know why they did this with uh, two keychains, but, but I don't know. It's cool, I guess. Uh, but why I love this pack so much is because that's Spider Man right there. He's holding Cap Shield. Come on, look at that. He's holding the shield. That Spider Man Funko Pop is amazing. Amazing. So happy they came out with that. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Miles Morales, a previous exclusive, very cool looking Funko Pop and great movie. Actually my favorite animated film of all time. We got Captain Marvel, a very controversial movie. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about this movie. Hey, I think it's a good movie. I do, I enjoy this movie. 
and this is definitely a very cool Funko Pop to own. So, yeah. Don't hate me in the comments, but I think it's a pretty good movie. Now I got Thanos. I have a ton of pops of him. Now this is a very big pop for the box it is in. This is actually my second newest pop. I just got this like not too long ago. And this is in the beginning of Endgame when they storm his hut and cut off his arm. And he technically dies. Yeah, no, he's technically dead in this scene. So, yeah, very cool pop. And I have Groot Holiday. This just came in the box. I don't know. It's adorable. It's Groot. It's adorable. The thing from Fantastic Four Comics. This is a 10 inch. This is literally bigger than my head. It is actually pretty heavy. A Target exclusive. I just got this not too long ago as well. Fantastic Four. The thing. Big boy. Gotta own that. Nick Fury with Goose the Cat. You gotta love Goose the Cat. Very nice Funko Pop. He's just holding Goose. And then we have Bro Thor from Endgame. I mean, it's Thor. It, it's, I almost dropped it. It's Thor. Can't go wrong with Thor. We got another X-Men pop, Dark Phoenix. Not much can be said about that. There's not a look quickly. Terrible movie. Alien, a Xenomorph. Alien is one of my favorite films of all time. As far as horror movies go, it may be my favorite horror movie. Like, it is a masterpiece. And this pop is so detailed. It's so cool looking. Had to pick that up. This pop ain't that cool. I mean, it's just a common pop. However, this character is freaking amazing. This character is what made Captain Marvel decent. If he wasn't in Captain Marvel, that movie would have sucked. But he's a great character. I loved him. Like, he is literally what made the movie decent. We got Chuck Nolan from Castaway. Love Castaway. One of my favorite films of all time. And then we have another Pennywise. We have Carol Danvers on motorcycle. Like I said, I've already discussed my opinion on Captain Marvel. It is cool and this Funko Pop is cool. Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones. My only Game of Thrones pop. I love Game of Thrones. I want more pops. But as of now, I'm mainly just buying Marvel pops. But I will buy a Game of Thrones pop whenever I come across one cheap. And this is a cool one to have. Cool one to have. Another Pokemon, Charmander. Adorable, love Charmander. It's just, it's, it's adorable. Now we have Human Torch from Fantastic Four, a Marvel Collector's Corpse exclusive. Very cool, it glows in the dark. And then, ooh, a two pack of Captain America and Iron Man from Civil War. Let me know down in the comments if you guys were Team Captain or Team Iron Man. I was Team Iron Man. This is easily one of the best Marvel movies like ever, hands down. And just a pretty cool two-pack there from FYE. Which, by the way, the FYE close by me um, actually closed down. Which kind of sucks. No, it doesn't suck. Jurassic Park. Dr. Ian Malcolm with his shirt off. Yeah. Come on. Gotta own that. I love Jurassic Park. It's one of my favorite films of all time. And I love this pop. And he is one of my favorite characters ever. Hands down, Dr. Ian, Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum, amazing. I have two 10-inch here. The first up would be Thanos from Avengers Infinity War with the gauntlet. Again, it's a 10-inch, bigger than my head. Thanos, one of the best villains in film history. He is the only villain in the MCU to actually win. He won. In Avengers Infinity War, he won. It was his movie. He beat the Avengers, uh, but obviously they came back and won. Um, but yeah, Infinity War, great movie, great pop. Another 10-inch, my final 10-inch, Ant-Man, actually, uh, to be exact, Giant Man, an Amazon exclusive from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's talk about my Star Wars. Now, I love Star Wars, okay? I just don't have too many Star Wars pops. Once I'm done buying Marvel pops, I'm gonna buy some Star Wars pops, Okay. So I don't have too many Star Wars pops, so please don't hate on me in the comments. But I do love Star Wars, guys. But the first one would be Lando Calrissian from Solo. Solo is a good movie. It's decent. It's fine. It's just not great. But I got this on clearance for like a couple dollars, so what the hell. Um, and then I have the rest of my Star Wars pops right here. Uh, let's talk about this Lando. A lot cooler than this Lando. This is the uh, original Lando, and it is very detailed, very cool. And this actually came out of the Star Wars Bounty Box, which I bought once, and this came in it with 
this little guy, Klaatu, or however you pronounce his name, Klaatu, pretty cool detailed pop. And then we have Han Solo in Snow Gear, a Loot Crate exclusive. Got this for super cheap. It's Han Solo. And then we have Ahsoka Tana, one of my favorite Star Wars characters uh, ever, like hands down, love her. Um, and this is a Hot Topic exclusive and it's in a protector because I have her autograph right there. Now the Funko Pop itself is not autographed. It's actually like a card, but I stuck the card in there and yeah, it looks cool. It's Ahsoka, got her autograph. Very cool. Now we have my final Pokemon pop, the final starter I need, and that'd be Bulbasaur. Adorable, just like all the other Pokemon. I have all the four starters, like I said, and that was the final one. Now we have, ooh, Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor. I love this movie, fantastic film. Probably the best DC film in a while. Well, technically Joker was. I love Joker by far, but this is still a great film. I'm looking forward to the sequel. Uh, that should be coming out soon. And this is an FYE exclusive as well, a two pack. And yeah, gotta love that. And now we have another Thanos pop from the first Guardians of the Galaxy. One of my favorite films in the MCU, really great movie. And he's in all of his armor. The classic Thanos look, very, very nice. And then we have an Ant-Man Funko pop, my only other Ant-Man Funko pop. And that'd be Ant-Man and Ant Tony. Very detailed. I actually had this one out of the box for a while, but I put it back in the box, but it is very detailed. I love this thing. Next up would be my final Fantastic Four pop, and that would be Mr. Fantastic from the Marvel Collector's Corpse box. Not much to talk about there. Star-Lord with mixtape, a box launch exclusive from the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Really cool looking Funko pop. Kind of an older pop look. Very, very cool. Ooh. One of my favorite films of all time, right there, Mad Max, the Kuma Doof guy. Uh, I don't, I don't know his name. Badass movie, badass character, cool looking pop, must own. Speaking of Mad Max, I have two more pops from the movie, and that would be Nux and Furiosa, pretty much the main character um, of the movie. This is a Hot Topic exclusive, very cool, great character, and Nux cool character. I want all of the Mad Max pops just because I love the film so much. It is easily one of my favorite films of all time. Just absolutely adore it. Now I have The Collector. This is a really cool pop to own because it's a Disney Parks exclusive as you can see right there on that sticker. Yes, you can only get this at the Disney Parks or online of course, which is where I got it. But still, very cool pop to own. Then we got Hulk holding the tacos in Endgame. Very funny scene and cool looking pop. Ronin from Avengers Endgame. This is a Walmart exclusive. I mean, it's Hawkeye, it's Ronin. Very cool, had to definitely pick that up. And then we have Thanos from Avengers Infinity War. Pretty sure, no, this is not my final pop of him, but it is a Walmart exclusive and it is pretty cool. I think he's making the portal or whatever he's doing. I don't know, but. Very cool. We are nearing down the end. Only got a little bit more, but next up would be Rescue. It was amazing to see Pepper Potts finally show up and use her armor. And yeah, a very powerful moment and love the pop. And then we have Venom. I love Venom. Um, I didn't love the movie. I mean, it's okay. It's okay, but very cool looking pop with his tongue out. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the sequel. I hope it's good. I mean, I hope it's a lot better. Now this is a cool pop. This is my only Harry Potter pop. I love Harry Potter. I definitely want some more pops of Harry Potter, but that would be Harry Potter entering the platform, a box lunch exclusive. Very cool. He's got Hedwig right there. Just very cool looking pop. Now this is from the first Harry Potter movie. You guys definitely know what moment this is if you guys have seen Harry Potter. It is a very iconic moment. So there's that. Next up we have Black Phillip from The Witch. Probably one of my favorite horror films of the past decade. Very just um, eerie, dark, depressing horror movie. I absolutely loved that. And I'm very happy that they made a pop for this movie because it's kind of an odd film, kind of a smaller film. So it's cool to see that they 
made a pop for it and I definitely had to go pick it up. And then we have a Spider-Man Far From Home um, and that would be Spider-Man. I mean, I gotta love Spider-Man. Peter Parker, very, very nice. Please don't get mad at me in the comments. I'm ashamed to say this, honestly. I am ashamed to say this. This is my only Batman pop. Can you believe it? I love Batman. I love Batman, but this is my only Batman pop. That is actually terrible. Okay, I'm gonna go buy some more pops of Batman. I need more Batman pops. I am ashamed to say that this is my only pop of Batman. I just love the box on this thing. But yeah, there's not much to say. I mean, it's Batman. And I am ashamed to say that that's the only Batman pop I own. I am very sorry. And this is Harley Quinn. I love Harley Quinn. Probably own more pops of her too. But this is a very cool pop. It is very colorful. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. And yeah, it's Harley Quinn. Now, next up we got Thor. I showed you the Groot earlier. Uh, this goes with that Groot. It is a holiday pop and he is holding a present. And then we have another um, alien pop and that would be Ripley in space suit. Again, I talked about this earlier. Absolutely love this movie. One of my favorite horror films of all time. So it's cool to have another thing from the movie. Three more Funko Pops. Holy cow. Sorry about the lighting. I apologize about this video. It is poorly made, but I am very bad at this thing. This whole YouTube game, I'm very bad at. So please don't make fun of me in the comments. But yeah, guys, like I said, we have three more Funko Pops. All movie moments. And they are all um, MCU Pops. Yes, I know. Shocker. Another MCU pop. Crazy, right? Thor versus Thanos. <sighs> One of the greatest scenes in film history. This is the moment, the moment in Infinity War where Thor should have gone for the head and Thanos won. Very powerful moment. Very great moment. One of the most iconic moments of all time and i'm happy that they made a pop of it it is very detailed absolutely love it hulk smashing loki in the first avengers again another iconic moment but hilarious absolutely hilarious i love this scene this got me so many times when the first avengers came out i laughed so hard and i'm happy that they made a pop of it this it's just hilarious all right so we did it this video is probably gonna be long i apologize for that but we made it to the final pop. If you made it this far, guys, I seriously appreciate you guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. But the final pop would be Captain America versus Thanos. Can't end on a better note. Thanos, Captain America, two great characters going at it, fighting, battling. And uh, Thanos obviously won that battle. But Captain America put a hell of a fight. That Steve Rogers attitude. Great attitude to have. <sighs> Guys, that is it. We did it. We did it. That was my complete Funko Pop collection. I appreciate you guys if you watch this whole thing. I honestly doubt that there's a single person right now still watching. But if you are, I seriously appreciate you guys. And if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. And if you want to see more from me in the future, hit that subscribe button. I love every single one of you guys. Thanks for watching and take care.